Alrighty, so we have some exciting updates coming from La Ronde over in Montreal. Um, super exciting. So thank you so much, Zozo um, Coasters, I believe, on Instagram. I'm going to double check that to make sure I got it right. ZozoCoaster.art on Instagram. I'm going to link it down below as well for filming an update today. Um, or it was actually last week. We were just really slow getting this video out. But nonetheless, there's a lot to talk about, so I gotta get right into this. So as you could tell, La Viper, um, La Vipier, however you wanna pronounce it, obviously isn't opening in 2021, and construction has been stalled since last year. Um, that's super disappointing, but also makes sense. Um, the park isn't that busy starting off this season, and they were probably already forecasting that, so why start off the new season with a new roller coaster when you can open it up in 2022? Um, outside of Leva Pier not um, opening this year and construction being halted, there's a new paint job to their Tower Observation Deck ride. Um, it is not operational, wasn't operational last year as well, but uh, some new paint to it to make it look um, a little nicer in the skyline. I remember when I visited last year, that was probably one of the uh, bigger eyesores in the park. So definitely um, d really awesome to see them fix up this Observation Tower. It does make me question if that ride's gonna open up in 2022 or 2023 if they've painted it. But as you can tell, it's definitely improved the skyline quite a bit. So um, if you're not picking up on it, Laurent seems to be going under a facelift. There's a lot of new signage, new shops under construction. Areas are closed off this season. So this area was open last year in 2020. Um, so it's a little weird that it's not open this year. Don't know what they're gonna do in there. I know the park's revitalizing some things. Um, we were sent some documents on some things they're working on, but I can't post those in this video. But nonetheless, we're going to go over everything that you can see with your eyes right now. And uh, again, Laurent's got a pretty exciting future in terms of visual upgrades. So definitely super excited to see what Six Legs does with this park moving forward. Um, the... <laughs> The, the transport ride is clearly not operational. Um, the toboggan, um, almost like a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but the toboggan ride there, it's like similar to the Fly at Canada's Wonderland. It is uh, got a slight kind of like theming package, I guess, on its entrance and exit and around it. Um, not too much, but it, it got a little enhancements in terms of uh, some uh, signage. But La Monstra is still not open as well. So this ride has been going under some maintenance. Um, but the weird thing is, from what I can understand, there isn't much going on on the ride. So there's a lot of rumors internally at the park that this could be one of the next RMCs in the chain. Um, that will be super interesting. I don't personally have any confirmation of this, but I am hearing from people that work at the park that this is up for um, a possible RMC conversion down the road. And maybe that's why uh, work on it has slightly slowed down or been non-existent. <laughs> the ride has been closed for, I think, again, feel free to yell at me in the comments down below, three seasons now, including COVID. Um, but nonetheless, the ride has remained on, on operational, I guess I would say. Um, there were signs of work when we were there last year, but very minimal and there were no one working on it. It was just, you could see where they would be working. Um, so this is super cool. You can now get videos on, uh, I believe they call this one Goliath. Yes, Goliath. It's slipping my mind. I haven't been on to a theme park in a while. So you can now get cool videos um, on Goliath and uh, it's for purchase and it actually looks pretty cool. They have, uh, I believe, a shot at the drop shot going on the lift hill, one on the brake run, and uh, I believe some somewhere else, I'm not quite sure. Uh, they have rethemed their pirate ship. It looks really awesome. Super impressed with this retheming job. Um, definitely love the colors they chose and then that beautiful map signage they have off to the left there. So uh, this is definitely one of the, the prime things for 2021, in my opinion. It looks beautiful and I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with the rest of the park. Um, if they keep going down this road, I would love this blue brickwork to disappear as well. Um, so if that were to disappear, that'd be awesome. They have gone cashless at the park and there are m numerous stations for you to, I believe, get, um, I don't know, like, I, I guess like cashless cards or stuff like that. Everything, like if you're gonna go on something, it's cashless. So I'm not quite sure how it works. There's obviously a language barrier, so I, I don't understand every bit of information that was presented to me and I really apologize for that. Um, but if you know what it is, comment down below. 
Um, but yeah, nonetheless, it's definitely at least they're open as a theme park in Canada. So it's just really exciting. I will be going there as soon as I know for sure I won't be pulled over and my car won't be confiscated. Um, I was going to head up there two weeks ago. I just chickened out. I didn't want to like risk it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we'll head over there as soon as we know for sure that we're good to go uh, with our car and it won't be confiscated. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I missed. There's just a lot of signage upgrades. Obviously, Le Vipier isn't done. Um, there's a lot of upgrades to their restaurants as well. And a lot of restaurants are closed based off of the footage. Um, there are new paving throughout the park. So they've been focusing on the paving. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, there will be a fireworks show. There's not going to be a firework competition this year. But there will be a firework show done by Laurent. They're also going to have people... Um, come to the park um, that maybe wouldn't be able to afford it from some of the poor areas, um, less fortunate areas in Montreal to be able to come to the park one day just for them. So that's super exciting. That's really neat. I haven't seen a park do that, or at least I haven't heard of a park doing that. So I just really liked that little detail that La Ronde was going to do this year. Um, and I definitely think that deserves some attention. I'm trying to think if there was any other information that was presented to me um, from the park. Um... They are going to have an overnight day, um, which I really want to try and get to, I believe. There's an overnight day that they're going to host, so I really want to try and get to that. There's an influencer day coming up at La Ronde, I believe, some in the next couple months. There's an influencer day where they'll be the only ones in the park. Um, I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm making sure I didn't leave anything out. Um, as you can tell, a lot of places closed. The park hasn't been busy, unfortunately. It hasn't been as crazy as I thought it would be. Again, I expect some, like Canada's Wonderland to be absolutely insane. Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's just a bunch of restaurant upgrades, a lot of signage upgrades. Um, I think I don't have it all in this video, but just lots of upgrades over the park, and that's going to continue into 2022 as well. So definitely super excited to see what goes on there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this quick update on LaRonde and all the things new for 2021. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.